Highlighting history of suburban Sydney with the St Peter's Cooks River History Group. Our aim is to promote and preserve local history. We are based at St Peter's in Sydney's Inner West. The suburb of Cowes Park is situated between the Princess Highway and Cogra Bay. In 1854, Jonathan Croft purchased 119 acres of Crown land there. After several changes of ownership, the land was purchased by Scottish cabinet maker William Cars. A cottage was built from sandstone quarried on the property. Cars lived there with his adult children, Mary and James. In 1866, Cars donated a weatherboard house and two acres of land to establish a Presbyterian church. William Cars died in 1878 and was buried in a vault on the estate. A plaque in front of the tomb is in memory of his wife, Helen, who had died in 1853, and two infant children. The property was left to his daughter. When Mary died in 1916, the estate was bequeathed to the Sydney Sailors' Home. Her brother James died in 1917. His wife Amelia lived in the house until 1923. Cogra Council purchased the Cars estate from the trustees of the Sailors' Home for £12,000. The estate was divided into recreational and residential areas. Cars Bush Park was opened and dedicated on Australia Day 1924. 374 suburban lots were offered for sale on the same day. Conditions of sale stated that all buildings were to be made of brick or stone with roofs made of tile or slate and at a cost of not less than £600 for each main building. The entrance to the estate was called the Gateway to Opportunity. The gateway was still there in 1937 at the intersection of Princes Highway and Carwar Avenue. At that time, the sign read, Cars Park Pleasure Resort. Today, portrayed in a mural adjacent to the original site. Streets in the subdivision were given Aboriginal names. The depression slowed down housing construction, the main development being after World War II. The original stone cottage was converted to a residence for the park ranger. The first one was Harold Coxhead, who held the position from 1924 until 1953. Coxhead Gardens, a small reserve on the corner of Princess Highway and Carwar Avenue, is named after him. In 1928, a life-saving club was needed for the tidal bars. The Cogra Bay football team were asked to assist. Cars Park Life Saving and Athletic Club was formed. A clubhouse opened in 1935. The building used for social events, billiards and table tennis was in use until 1979. A Cars Park Casualty Committee was formed in 1928. The following year, a first aid building opened. A clock tower was added in 1934. When ranger accommodation was needed in 1971, a second storey was added. As part of an unemployment relief work program during the Great Depression, a retaining seawall and outer barrier walls for the tidal bars were constructed. The ranger supervised the building of steps, benches and paths using stone quarried on site. The mangrove swamps at the head of Cogra Bay were dredged and occupied mainly by Chinese market gardeners. In the 1960s this area became playing fields. When the section of the cottage annexed for a shop became inadequate, a small wooden kiosk was opened in the park. This was replaced in the 1930s and included dressing sheds and toilets. A drinking fountain was dedicated to Alderman J.J. J. Nichols. In 1935, the tidal bars were enclosed with a shark proof net. A boat shed with paling type doors housed a dinghy to patrol the pool and inspect the shark proof net. Norfolk Island pines were planted along the foreshore. Cogra Bay Sea Scouts Troop Hall, named the Guard Ship, was completed in 1939. It was demolished in 2013. The park's natural bushland was used for filming scenes in the 1947 movie Bush Christmas. Cars Park Bowling Club opened in 1950 and closed in 2003. The site is now occupied by community organisations. Taskers operated a market garden on Prince's Highway. In 1953, they opened a tourist caravan park. It closed in 1970. The sporting fields at Todd Park were formerly Chinese market gardens. 
1979, the Ken Scott Memorial Bikeway was developed for children's safe cycling. A War Memorial Olympic pool opened in 1965. Free entry was given to war veterans. State and Olympic swimming champions trained there. The pool closed in 2019 and the Georges River Council voted to demolish it the following year. In 1970, the Cogra Historical Society was formed. The following year, Carr's Cottage was opened as an historical museum to be operated by the Society. The Harold Fraser Oval was built in 1979 on land behind the Caravan Park. Fraser was a keen cricketer and Gallipoli veteran. A concrete arch, built by Harold Coxhead, was removed in 2003 and replaced by a replica. In 2009, the Kiosk building was redesigned. Cars Bush Park is an historical area. Its tidal pools, sandstone walls and remnants of native vegetation make it a popular recreational destination. The museum in the historic Cars Cottage focuses on local history. It is open every Sunday afternoon and at other times by request for tour groups. In the museum, you can discover the history of the Cars family. In the parlour, a table made by William Cars is laid for tea. See Cocky Bennett, the bird who lived for 119 years. Discover the story of the wedding dress that was never worn. Displays are changed regularly. The Cogra Historical Society holds bi-monthly talks on Mondays at the cottage. The Society meets on the second Thursday from February to November at 2pm in the Cogra School of Arts at the corner of Burns Road and Queens Avenue, Cogra. If you have enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel. It's free. Coming soon. North of the Harbour Bridge, Milsons Point, Kirribilli and North Sydney. And check out our website stpeterscooksriverhistory.wordpress.com Visit us the first Saturday of every month from 1.30 to 4.30, 187 Princess Highway, St Peter's.